Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we're on lesson 30 and we're going to be talking about interfaces. Uh, before we dive into the code, let's go ahead and talk about exactly what is an interface. Well, if you remember from a few lessons ago, we created a, uh, an abstract method. And an abstract method basically said, look, you know, deriving classes. We're not going to actually give you any code here or any functionality in our method, but we're requiring you to implement this method. And if, if you don't re recall that, please go ahead and review the previous videos. So what an interface does, it does exactly the same thing, only um, it's more suited, I mean, for, for action and over a, a number of classes. So ultimately we can say, okay, class A, B, C, and D, you need to implement these methods so and, and properties. And we'll go ahead and see this as soon as we dive into the code. So let's go ahead and do just that. First, uh, we define the interface, uh, iStorable, and it's conventional to always capital, use a capital I and then the action. You don't have to, but it's strongly recommended and there's no reason you shouldn't. And then we have our properties uh, and methods. Now we've just created a basic file class that doesn't really do anything. It just reads in a string uh, and it passes it into the constructor and creates file or I don't just say created file, Leo's file, so let's see if that's the case. Created file, Leo's file, perfect. Okay, so now how do we say that um, this file class implements the iStorable interface? And by doing that we just do just like deriving uh, classes here. So um, this basically says file implements the iStorable interface. If we, we can have a multiple number of interfaces, we'll just say I and Leo, um, you know, I next star uh, TV, whatever, whatever you want. So we're just going to have one for right now, and we need to go ahead and um, if we run this, we're going to get some errors, right? Because we haven't implemented this stuff. So let's just check. We should get three errors. Uh, we don't implement write, read, or status. So that makes sense. So let's go ahead and implement those. I'll just change that. Okay, so public int status get return one. Okay, and now we need to implement uh, public void read console right line reading public void write and again you know obviously for demonstration purposes okay so if we go ahead and run this now it should remove our errors which it does but we actually haven't done anything with our uh, interface yet so Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So let's see if we can do this. Um, I storable equals new I storable. Now is this correct? No. And let's see what the error it says. Cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface. Okay, so it's, that makes sense, right? Because you can't really instantiate that. It, it just wouldn't make any sense, but we can do this. Okay, because our file f or our file class implements iStorable, uh, we can reference iStorable. Um, we, uh, we can reference iStorable f as iStorable. So uh, let's go ahead and see what type of functionality that gives us. We should now be able to do is correct dot write is correct dot read. Okay, so let's run this and see if that works. Writing, reading. So it does. So now we know if we had a bunch of classes and we knew that they implemented iStorable, we could just simply write and read them and we don't even care how they're implemented. Okay, now can we do is correct dot um, name? Well, let's see. Let's change this to public. 
is correct dot name and no that wouldn't make any sense because that's not part of the uh, you know the interface right we're using a reference of uh, you know I storable um, so it would make no sense to be able to actually access the uh, classes um, properties or member fields so with that being said we've got a few more interface uh, tutorials to go if you have any questions please go to next TV and join the community at and ask in the developer section and until tomorrow uh, have a great day see you guys